Hello friends, this video on physical and chemical changes part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Number 7. Explain why burning of wood and cutting it into small pieces are considered as two different types of changes. Now that's quite obvious because now when we talk about burning of wood, what happens here? Heat is released, light is released. At the same time, new substances are formed. For example, carbon dioxide is released, ashes are formed. Correct? Now, all these symbolizes which type of change? It symbolizes chemical change. Whereas, when you look at cutting wood into small pieces, what are the changes that are involved? Size changes, shape changes, but the chemical composition changes, no change in chemical composition. Do you think the small pieces of wood can be joined together to form a bigger piece? Yes, of course it can be done. So it is a reversible change. So all these show that cutting it into small pieces is a physical change. Question number 8. Explain how painting of an iron gate prevents it from rusting. Now when we paint it, paint acts as a protective layer between the iron and the air and moisture. Because iron when reacts with air and oxygen, oxygen present in the air and water. So that, that is why moist air, we want to prevent iron from moist air. So we have to uh, break the contact of iron and moist air. And for that purpose, we provide a layer between iron and moist air. So that layer is the paint here. So it prevents iron from coming in contact with oxygen and the moist air and therefore it prevents rusting. Question number nine. Explain why rusting of iron objects is faster in coastal areas than in deserts. Because in coastal areas you have the water bodies nearby, you have the sea nearby. So a lot of water, so a lot of moisture in the air. But in deserts hardly there is any water. So obviously the air is also very dry. So the presence of moist air always uh, increases the uh, possibility of rusting. So moist air is present more in coastal areas than in deserts. So air has more moisture in coastal areas and because of this, the chances of rusting is also more. Question number 10. The gas we use in kitchen is called liquefied petroleum gas or LPG. So in the cylinder, it exists as liquid. When it comes out from the cylinder, it becomes a gas. Then it burns. The following statements pertain to these changes. Choose the correct one. So here we have assumed that the change A refers to the change of the liquid gas inside the cylinder into the gaseous form when you switch on the oven of your gas. So what kind of change is that? So the composition of the gas that is LPG still remains the same. It just changes its state from liquid to gas. So what kind of change is change A? Change A is a physical change. And what happens when it burns? Now when it burns, heat is released, little bit of light is released and also what happens when it gets burnt, new substances are being formed. So this burning is a chemical change. So let's see which is the right one. Process A is a chemical change. No, process A is physical. Process B is a chemical change. Yes, this is correct. Question number 11. Anaerobic bacteria digest animal waste and produce biogas. The biogas is then burnt as fuel. The following statement pertain to these changes. So again you have four options. So the first option is digestion of animal wastes to produce biogas. So when the anaerobic bacteria act on these waste materials, so a lot of new chemical substances will be formed. So obviously this change A is a chemical change. When you look at the change B, which is burning of the fuel, again heat is released. Burning of fuel means new substances will be produced, maybe carbon dioxide will be released when fuels are burnt. So this is also a chemical change. So that means both A and B are chemical changes. So the third option is the correct one. 
so with this we have reached towards the end of this lesson and i hope that this lesson on uh, physical and chemical changes would have helped you so see you all in the next lesson thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience please do not forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you once again